Sorry guys, we we've like recorded like for five minutes and then went to play the game and realized we weren't streaming. All right, so we're gonna start right yeah. now. Anyway, Mike, wherever are we? What is this place? I don't know where we are. Tony, this is Fucko Land. Oh, Fucko Land. This is your new store, right? That's right. Oh, uh, okay. I missed that whole introduction because I was in the. What do you think of the name? I love. You know what? I love the name. I love the name. It's uh, I believe it's German. Fuchs, Fuch, Fucholand. It's it's very uh, fr it's a very friendly name, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Does it make you, does it, does Fucholand make you think of anything? Uh, fun. I don't. <laughs> fun. Yes, fun. <laughs> that he got it. Because this is a fun place. It is uh, such a fun place. Anyway, Mike. Right now, hey, we got we got King's Quest Five. Oh, we have King's Quest Five. Nice. One, one of my one of my games here. Yeah. Well, we also have. Have you ever played Doom Two? I d Doom Two. My mom bought me that game. We mentioned that before. <laughs> uh, we also have. Um, where is it? Oh, good. We have Duke Nukem Forever, classic game. Everyone loves Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> ah, just throw that in there. Anyway. Mike, today. I could have went full screen for that, you know. That yeah, why do much we... better. There, there we go. There, there. Let me do the whole Let's thing. Let's do it all over again. <laughs> hey, look. It's King's Quest V. Oh, my God. Hey, look. It's Duke Nukem Forever, a classic game. All right. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. The, we're, we're streaming from Fucko Land. It's yes. after hours. I had yes. to... I had to do a long shift today because we're getting ready to open the store. Right, right. We'll be opening soon. I, we had to move some arcade machines around. It was an, it was a nightmare. It's been a long day. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, we're starting to get things into the into the store now. Yes. Um, we recorded an episode, uh, yes. but a few days ago. So when you see the next episode mm -hmm. come out on Cinemassacre, that was recorded a few days ago. So yeah. pretty soon, hopefully in the next coming couple weeks two three yeah. weeks i think maybe in, we might open it about three weeks good something good. like that i'm excited i'm something, excited we don't for know the, the exact opening day of yet, land. but the the, the the day will come <laughs> anyhow so um the point uh today on this stream of mike and tony tuesdays and it's just about tuesday <laughs> it's, it's still 10 30 it's still fine we're gonna be playing jurassic park the lost world jurassic park special edition yes um the reason i'm picking that uh click on the chat we're blocking the chat uh, yesterday, there was a uh, Jurassic World short film that was released because Jurassic World is now trying to build a larger universe. The last film ended with a bunch of dinosaurs getting out onto the mainland. Mm -hmm. So now they did the short film of like uh, family camping getting attacked by dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. So I think they're going to do like a whole, they're going to do a couple short films leading up to the third Jurassic World. And then who knows, they'll probably be making fucking Jurassic movies until the day we die and you like jurassic park 3 a little, a little bit more than two right yes uh the fans know that i'm pro jurassic park 3 look it's not a great movie jurassic park did here's the thing jurassic park did not need sequels and it has four or five sequels right. what was the last one that came out fallen kingdom that fallen was actually kingdom. my favorite sequel Okay. And people were like, that one was just stupid i'm like yeah they're all stupid jurassic park didn't need sequels at least this one was different yeah <laughs> Um, yeah, so I decided let's uh, play The Lost World Special Edition. Now, for The Lost World, that's the one where they go to San Diego. At the very end, they bring uh, T-Rex to San Diego. It's and looking for its baby T-Rex. You, so you're not a, a huge uh, fan of that one, but no. if you had to choose, is there some moments in that movie that you like? Oh, sure. I mean, it's Spielberg. Even bad movies that Spielberg has made, there's some good moments in them. Mm-hmm. Like Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, I like that little motorcycle chase him and Shia LaBeouf have in the beginning. What movie? Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. The Dan Aykroyd drink. <laughs> yeah, Indiana Jones and the Dan Aykroyd drink. That mm. was the name of that movie. You know? Oh, by the way, so you know, uh, uh, the Indiana Jones movies, and you got yeah. you got the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah. You got the those stones. The Sankara stones. Then you got the the, the, uh, <laughs> the Holy Grail. Yeah. And then you got the the crystal skull. Yeah. What about the spirit destiny? Yeah, they never did spirit. Maybe it's. Would that be good? That would have made sense. Now you know what the spirit destiny is, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that was like a thing like Hitler apparently was really looking for. So it yeah. would have made sense if they did that, but they just never did. So like they did with aliens the, with the Holy Grail. It would be like you drink from the Holy Grail and you get everlasting life. Yeah. With the Ark, we know the Ark. We know what all yeah. the things do. Yeah. 
if Indiana Jones found that, what yeah. would it do? I have no idea. I really don't know what it's supposed to do. Hmm. Jurassic Ark, Noah's Lost Voyage. That's pretty funny. Um, Maybe it shoots laser beams. That would be good. If it shoots lasers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. Uh, real quick, before we start the game, I want to play the uh, opening cutscene. Okay, let's do that. This is, this is, uh, this game's not great. I had a lot of fun playing it as a kid. Mm -hmm. Much like the Lost World movie, loved it as a kid, got older, realized it wasn't that great. <laughs> Uh, but the intro is fucking hilarious. So let's let's see that. Spear of Destiny offers Im immortality and strength. Oh, good. Is this Mike's new store? This is my store. This yes. Is, uh, we are we are streaming live now from Fucko Land, my store. <laughs> Who I was thrown into this position. Mike, the blowjob pumpkin, joining you guys. He's over there. My pumpkin is. Hold up. My blowjob uh, <laughs> pumpkin, right here. Here he is. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Did I, right. did I have told you the story about the blowjob? Real well, quick. Let's, let's, do this let's watch this okay, first. Okay, this okay. is my favorite. The DreamWorks logo. You know, classic boy fishing. Oh. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Fucking Velociraptor yanks him off the moon. Did they show the Velociraptor, or that's just you no? Hear they the played. They played the sound oh, effect. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my that was my favorite thing. When I put that on as a kid, I was like, "Holy shit, this is funny!" <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start. Do you want to start, or you want okay, before? Because I don't want to keep. I don't want to interrupt oh, this. I want to. Have I told you about the blowjob? Pump you have pump? not. It looks creepy. So, did you make this? What is this? Uh, well, I'm gonna tell you before we start. We're gonna do street. Jurassic Park, but real <laughs> quick story time. All right, so it is Halloween. Yep. Uh, coming up soon, and I, I've dr I've been dressing the store for the grand opening. Yes. And so this is my blowjob pumpkin. As you can see, the mouth is making the shape of somebody who looks like they would be sucking dick, right? It, couldn't I it mean, just be a jolly, happy pumpkin who's just happy to see you? It's like hi. Well, it's not though, and I'll tell you why. So. You, you just yeah. asked if I made this or whatever. This is actually a vintage Halloween pumpkin. Yeah. This is from the 1920s. Oh. Uh, or maybe early 30s, around then. Okay. And they used to make these, and they're made of, like, paper mache. It's falling apart a bit. You can see, like, yeah, the back is kind of, like, fucked up. But this is very old, and they used to make these. Um, so I was in an occult store okay. one day. and You were just hanging out in an occult store? What were you doing in there? You've done worse. I... Yeah, okay, but <laughs> we're not talking about me. What were you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's were true. Were you buying crystals or something? Well, um, so I was in an occult store one day. Yeah. And I walked in, and I was like, oh, this is a cool store. They have a lot of, like, tarot cards and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. But most of the stuff they had was, like, a lot of, like, board games and things that are kind of, like, no. uh, not vintage. Like, yeah. you go into an occult store, you want some, like, real shit to, like, cast yeah. some real spells and shit. You yeah. want some, like, Salem Witch Trial type Yeah, shit. real spells. Cast real spells. So, so the best, uh, you know, basically, I like the older stuff. It seems more authentic. Yeah. You know? This, this fucking thing's pretty creepy, isn't it? It's pretty creepy. See? So, um, so I see this, and they have it kind of, like, you know, up, kind of, like, uh, yeah. up here. I see it, and I'm, I'm like, what? Oh my God, let me see that. Can I, can I, excuse me. So there's this girl behind the counter and she says, uh, oh, that, that's the blowjob pumpkin. And I'm like, ah, that's funny. And I, I, I laughed. Yeah. And then she, uh, she brought it down. She let me see it. I was like, oh, this is cool. Cause I have a lot of vintage Halloween stuff, yeah. whatever. And she's, she's like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I call that the blowjob pumpkin. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> like she, like she had already told the joke. Yeah. And, um. So I'm like, I'm, I'm going to get it. And, and she's like, okay. Um, so I, I got a couple different things. I came mm -hmm. back over to the register. I got this and I got a couple deck of cards or something like that. Yeah. And then, so she's ringing me up and she, she's she's like, yeah, isn't it really funny? Uh, like, <laughs> don't you think it's funny? Doesn't it look like a blowjob pumpkin to you? I'm like, it look, that's what it looks like. Yeah, you and made it, it very clear. And then she's like, all right, on the receipt here, um, I'm... I, you know, I just got to write it out because, you know, we, we're, this is the only one of these we have. So I'm just going to write on here, blowjob pumpkin. Is it is it okay that I write that on there like that? Blowjob she, pumpkin? Oh, like she kept saying, she be, and she was like looking at me like, yeah. like blowjob pumpkin. I was getting like really uncomfortable. Like, are you supposed I'm to like, laugh? Mm-hmm. Mm or was she trying to like drop hints or something? Was this, what were they doing in this occult store? So anyway, that's the story <laughs> about uh, the blowjob 
in the occult store. Here, I got I got a fun fact. Do you know why it's called that? A blowjob? Yeah. Do I, why a blowjob is called a blowjob? Yeah. Pl- I was curious. Do tell. Uh, and we looked this up the uh, a while back. Um, we. Who who are you looking at blowjobs? Uh, with? me and my girlfriend. Okay, we want we were curious where the name came from. Don't ask why. Uh, so we looked it up. It was it was originally called a below the belt job, and I guess years people shortened it to blowjob. Below the belt. So it probably came below job, ah, and then someone just said below job. Anyway, there's your fun fact, guys. I thought it's because like suck and blow. I I yeah 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 yeah. Speaking <laughs> of things that blow. <laughs> anyway. Let's Let's, Let's get back to game. this dinosaur game. I hope the chat is enjoying this. <laughs> okay. So this game starts off pretty fun. The more you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. So, Mike, when you think Jurassic Park, what's what's the first dinosaur you think of? Uh, the T-Rex. Of course. And this game is smart. They have you start off as the T-Rex. Cool. Okay. Yeah. That is cool. I have not played this, so I don't... Yeah. Yeah. Let me see this, actually. <laughs> yeah. If you want to play, look up the T-Rex controls. Okay. What? By the way, speaking of controls... Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. Hey, well, that's There's okay. a roar button. Okay. There's two bite buttons. And then if you bite and hit X real quick, you can eat people. And that restores your health. Oh, let me grab that guy. Watch. Ah. I thought you were going to troll ah. me, but no, we really are a T-Rex. Yeah. So that's cool. This is fun. We're in a great way to start. Also, the T-Rex can jump, apparently. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> There's headbutt. blood. Like, this game starts off so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, T-Rex. And I think this might be the first, because it says 1993. I like maybe. how you're just, like, swallowing people. Yeah. That's actually pretty great. I think this is supposed to be on the first Jurassic Park. I'm not sure who all these people are. Or why were the male T-Rex in the first Jurassic Park, but whatever. (laughs) Is this music from the actual movie? Actually, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, The music for this, I believe it's this one, is um, Michael ah, Giacchino, Gaichino. Something something Italian. Anyway, uh, he ended up being a film composer. And he did music for Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. But this is like one of the first things he did. So oh. like his career circled back to, to Jurassic Park. Yeah, That's cool. And I died because That's I was That's not talking. good. Uh, you know what other... Sa- He's done many, many film soundtracks. You know what soundtrack he did that I know you love? Uh, the J.J. Abrams Star Trek movie. Uh, <laughs> um, you gotta admit, the music was good in that, though. Spe- <laughs> like, speaking of Star Trek, yeah. we could play... I, br- I brought by my copy of Star Trek Starfleet Academy, Ooh. which is the last appearance, other than the Oscars, of uh, William Shatner's Captain Kirk. Right, The right. last real appearance. When You know, when uh, yeah. Seth MacFarlane had him do... Said, oh, God, that thing went on for five... Yeah, yeah. Seth MacFarlane was so terrible at the Oscars. What is this code? I think that's a good question. Did you write that, Mike? I'll uh, you'll find out what that code is in a second. Okay. I did write that, but I don't remember what it is. But I know how we can find out. Okay. Interesting. All right, I need to just like power through this. I'm, I just need to eat people if I, my health goes down too much. So, I'm curious to see the next action. Like, what I want to know about. Like, the movie doesn't start out this way, right? No. The movie starts out with... Because uh, I haven't seen it in a long time. Uh, the movie starts out with uh, compies, the little green ones, uh, attacking a girl. Okay. So but it doesn't like, follow the movie, then? No, but that... Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> the movie's kind of confusing, because, like... The, the book took place on a second island. Because they had to, because in the first book, they, they like... Burn the island. They you like, know what's they another fu- great island? What? Eagle Island. Eagle Island's great. Oh my God, Koji, what's up? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Eagle Island is the only game that sponsored one of my videos. I wonder how I got that sponsorship. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> multiple videos. They sponsored multiple. They didn't even ask me, and I did commercials for them anyway. <laughs> what a sellout you are! Yeah. Feature- By the way, you can subscribe on uh, <laughs> Twitch Prime. The Amazon Prime. This is September. Yeah. So subs are are half off. <laughs> so you can sub to, you know, any of uh, the people you want to sub to on Twitch. Yeah. Or you can sub to me. Oh. 
See how this works? Oh, I see how it works. And you can get glorious content like conversations about blowjob pumpkins, <laughs> Jurassic Park, The Lost World. Yeah. And William Shatner and Seth MacFarlane on the Oscars. Okay. This is great. Now everybody left. <laughs> the chat's gone. So that was fun. That was a great way to start the game. Cool. Like, yay! Big T Rex. This right. is great. I'm going to have fun. Whatever could the next one be? I'm assuming it's not going to be. What that? Oh, it's like That's a D password. DNA password? Yeah, yeah. Wait, how are you supposed to actually remember that? Uh, you write it down, apparently. Yeah, but like, what order? Like, it's going all over oh, the I place. Oh, I think it's le left or right. Oh, my God. Yeah. This is one cool thing about, like, each dinosaur it introduces you to. They do this, like, little video. But it's like, oh, what's next? I hope I'm a Velociraptor or, oh, I'm a Combi. The tiny little green one. It's like, oh, that's kind of, it's kind of not as cool well, as the T-Rex. It's, it's not, but at the same time, wouldn't you want a variety of dinosaurs in the game? I think that's cool that they're going to give you a variety. I, I guess, but maybe if I, like, started with this one and worked my and way you up. And you work your way up. But, but, like, don't show me, like, the T-Rex. It's like, oh, cool. It, it's like a lot of games where, the, like, there's certain, like, uh games where they'll just give you all the power-ups right in the beginning. Yeah. And then after, like, five minutes, you lose everything, and yeah. then you gotta get everything back. That is there's, really what it's like. Yeah, there's a lot of those games. Hey, Ryan Walker. Thanks for coming in. What's up, New Wave Junkie? Hello, you sexy animals. Oh, thank you. Take a Polaroid for that password. <laughs> or, or use your cell phone. <laughs> so here, isn't this exciting, Mike? Oh. This is a little bit more babyish than I th even thought it was going to be. Well, I'm actually killing it. You look them. like more like a gecko than a... <laughs> then you have to eat. Huh? Okay. Oh, and it's a platformer, too. Oh, God! So you own this game. Yes. And did you beat this game? Uh, no. no. I the, the human levels are, like, fucking impossible. Uh, I had no tolerance. So I would just skip to the T-Rex levels I and see. play, or the Raptor levels and play them. Is over. there like level select cheat codes or something? There is. There is. Okay. Well, Mike, are you, are you not impressed with the compi? Do you want to go to a different dinosaur? No, I want to. I want to. I want to see this just for a minute. Okay. I am curious, actually. There is stuff. Are there collectibles? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what they do. Now, do why you? is the eye of Sauron in the top right? <laughs> I think that's your eye. And I don't know what it does. I forget what it does. Okay. Or is it a cookie with a leech on it? That's exactly it's exactly <laughs> what it is. It's a cookie with a leech. <laughs> Spielberg was like, make sure there's a cookie with a leech. Well, on didn't it. didn't he have something? Did Spielberg have anything to do with Stand by Me? Uh, no, that was the Stephen King movie. Stephen King. Uh, Spielberg probably saw Stand by Me. <laughs> he probably <laughs> saw it. Probably went to the movie theater. So. We uh we just mentioned Stand by Me in uh, rental reviews. Yeah. I talked about you know you've seen the Sandlot. Yeah, a, a long time ago, but I've seen it. You again. know how like the end, it ends with him like narrating like where his friends are now and everything. I don't remember. It's been too long. Yeah, the the narrator is like so and so grew up to do this, and now uh, that guy did this. But every time I watch it, I get it confused with the end of Stand by Me. So I'm like, uh, wait, is this the movie where you find out his friend was stabbed in the neck? <laughs> So I put the audio from Stand By Me over Sandlot, so it's the kid running the bases like he was stabbed in the neck. Now, what is supposed to happen at the end of this level? Like, what does this lead up to here? Uh, I know... Just, like, like there's the, like an a... end flag, like Mario? Like... <laughs> no, you just, like, go into, like, a cave or something. Okay. And then uh, one of the levels is, like, you're in a stampede. Now, how many different dinosaurs are there? There's three dinosaurs and two human characters. What's the other dinosaur? Uh, Velociraptor. And T-Rex! Uh, well, the Velociraptor could be kind of pretty cool, right? Or no? Yeah. No, the Velociraptor's okay. It's kind of like this, just a little bit more entertaining. No. Jesus. Son of a bitch. What would you have rather... You would, did you just want the whole game to be the T-Rex? Like Not the T-Rex, just... I don't know. <laughs> Not this. <laughs> How about like a mini game with a Brontosaurus, maybe? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I mean, the, the one level is kind of cool when there's like a... Uh, when there's a stampede and you gotta like work your way through it, I just, I didn't think platformer. Like I didn't, I didn't think like the worst platformer ever. 
That's actually not true. I was thinking, say, I know you really wanted to play this, but um, considering this is my store, uh, I would really rather play the original Legend of Zelda. <laughs> and if you disagree, uh, there's a glass window over there <laughs> that I just got repaired. Oh, for, you just repaired it? For opening day. Did you take the tats and vape sign off of it? <laughs> I, that's got to get spray painted back on there. Painted back on. <laughs> oh, wait, so you're going to paint, you're going to paint back on <laughs> Yeah. Do you know the, the the backstory for that, by the way? I don't, well, it, see, the thing is, what do you think, I'm going to put a fucko land on there? No, I'm going to put the vape back on there, that way people won't come in. Because <laughs> you know how personable yeah. I am. But no, apparently, these racks and shelves did come from a tattoo vape shop. Because <laughs> I, I remember, like, seeing that, I'm like, why did you guys say that? And they're like, oh, that's just because we're the actually What kind of a racket is this? <laughs> That Mr. Lobo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this the stampede? I don't know. Ooh. All right. Mike, I hate this. Uh, if only I could skip to the Velociraptor. Maybe there was a code. Hey, Mike. Well, hang on, hang on one second. Oh. <laughs> um. All right, we got a uh, some gift subs here oh, coming shit. in from Ryan Walker. I just want to take a second to do this. Uh, Ryan Walker gift sub to Valentino, Za, DJ Sebastian, Mega oh, Man shit. X, uh, Tube Worm, PGS Rules, your brand new hero, Lose Yourself, uh, Zero Greed, Andy <laughs> Author 2007, and Mr. Mud Nugget. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mud Nugget. Good old stand, Mr. Stand up guy. Stand up guy. Good old Mr. Thank you very much, Ryan Walker. If you guys got a gift sub from him, please say thank you. Also, thank you, Agent Nil, and anybody, if I missed you, I'm sorry. Okay. So, okay. So, what's happening? Mike, I notice. Well, see, I am in need of a cheat code to skip to a cooler dinosaur. And I notice you have Blockbuster Secret Encodes 1999 there. Could you perhaps look for a cheat code for me to be the Velociraptor? Hmm. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, okay. Hmm. What's this? Oh, it's one of my garbage pail things. Ah. From. Hey, guys, look. Have you, look, guys, it's my garbage pail collection oh. sitting right here. Isn't it funny that there was a thing right there? Yeah, that's Marked weird. off. Actually, that isn't the page, is it? Or is no, it? the Lost Winter okay. is right there. <laughs> no, the, the joke was working. Shit. Uh, okay, so here's the page. You can do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to skip to Raptor. Oh, my God. Look using, at this. Using... Blockbuster Secrets and Codes 1999. Tony, please input the DNA sequence. I, I will. Hold on. <laughs> XX, O, triangle, square, X, square, X, square, square, triangle, zero. Or circle, whatever. Square, X, circle, triangle, X, square, There square, we square. go. Thank you, Secrets and Codes 1999 for Blockbuster. Are you allowed to sell Blockbuster's products? <laughs> Why are you bringing it up? Oh, I'm Don't sorry. Acknowledge it. <laughs> Jesus. Lord. Um, we're probably not going to get to it and I don't know if it's in the PlayStation version of this game. But if you beat this game, there's a video of Jeff Goldblum. Oh, look. <laughs> Codes for Contra Legacy of War. Ah. The game that inspired Contra Rogue uh I don't even remember the name of Rogue What's the new one? Rogue. I don't know what the hell it is. Rogue something. The new one. <laughs> I can't. That's how bad the new one is. I don't even fucking remember. Rogue something. Rogue core. Rogue core. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, anyway, the the end of this game. Mm -hmm. I've seen the video of it. When you beat it, it's Jeff Goldblum. Mm -hmm. And he's like, thanks for playing the game. That's great. Now, uh, why don't you just go outside? Get a light. <laughs> like, makes fun of you. And I'm like, that's, that's kind of fucked. <laughs> thanks for playing the game. Fuck you. Go outside. <laughs> More games. There should, we more go. More games should do that. Ah! So some of the boxes are like weapons and shit. They are like they'll they'll like kill you. Ah! <laughs> I didn't know the Velociraptor can roll. These controls look really bad. Uh, I just need are to... they? Or are you really bad? <laughs> uh, and the thing is, they switch up the control pattern for like every single one. Thank you, Retro Gaming Night. What? <laughs> so I'm just like running. 
I'm happy that there's blood at least. Yeah. I, I like the screams. They're like, ah! They actually sound like they're being murdered. Oh my god, is he farting? What was that? That was a gas grenade. <laughs> Let me eat him, get my health back up. Just bit his ass off. Yeah. Oh, when they stop bleeding, that means you can't eat him out. Okay. Ah! Okay. Who's okay. shooting missile? Oh, this guy. They're just all shooting me. This Jesus is horrible. <laughs> I'm like stuck. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a game that you gotta play for like a bit to get a hang of. <laughs> Maybe I should have played it a little bit more <laughs> before we started streaming, but whatever. That's alright, you only have to beat it. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I said, the, the human characters, like you play as a hunter and then Sarah. I want you to 100% this. <laughs> Fuck that. The human characters suck to play as. <laughs> I like the munching sound effects. Ugh. <laughs> so what part of the movie is this? None. This follows nothing from the movie. <laughs> raptors don't show up to like... Oh, I guess they don't... No, the raptors are the very beginning of the first rest part. They're the first kill. Um, do you want to give it a shot, Mike? Yeah, yes, I do, actually. Let me uh, try it. With, um, I'm going to give this a shot with... Uh, Tony set up his PlayStation. I just want to show you guys what Tony's PlayStation controller looks like. <laughs> I'm not judging, <laughs> but I just want to show you. Tony's, Tony's PlayStation go. controller. So I had to get a new PlayStation 2 controller and I bought whatever one they had on Amazon and I, they didn't say they were going to send me like the rubber grips and then they did and they were like rainbows and I was like, huh, that's interesting. <laughs> I think it's fantastic. Yeah, I was like, all right, that's a little way to do it. I'm very jealous. <laughs> all right, let's um, try this. Here's your uh, controls if you want. Mm -hmm. So square attack, R2 is when th they're dead, you can eat them. Uh, triangle, you jump backwards, and then circle is just another attack, and X is jump. Okay. But if when they're like bodies dead on the ground, if you're low on health, hit R2 to eat them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good old fashioned fun. Ugh. I don't think the raptors look that good in two. Like, I didn't mind the tiger stripe pattern, but they gave them, like, weird, glowy green eyes. Does, uh, does eating them get your health back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. But, like, it kind of gets rough when there's, like, 10,000 of them shooting you while you're trying to eat. And those things don't fucking help. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> help! <laughs> it's just, uh, R2. Oh, yeah, you know. the wrong thing. Eat his head off. <laughs> now, what... This would be cool. I'd like to see a really, like, ultra-realistic version, like, if they made a new game. Like, Is um, there a new one? Like, a... Remember, we, we played Jurassic World Evolution, the park yeah. builder? But those kind of effects in this would That's be what, awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, say what you will, but I, I like Jurassic World. With uh, all the new... Jurassic Park stuff. You would think there there would be more. There's of the games there's a than Pokemon there is. Go style oh, game. Damn it! Fuck this. That's guy. a lot of fun. Jurassic World Alive. It's Pokemon Go just with dinosaurs. You know they made a Ghostbuster one too. They did. A Ghostbuster Pokemon Go. Basically. Oh, I had no idea. I forget what it's called, but they did. I'm guessing it didn't do that well. I, I guess not. Heard. I played it. Oh. A little bit. How it was. It? Oh no! Oh my god. <laughs> damn. All right. Let me try one more time. Okay. Oh, you think? Oh, this starts you off with a hundred lives. By the way, using that code, <laughs> I just noticed it was like live ninety seven. I'm like, oh, okay. that might be enough. I don't know. <laughs> oh, fuck these like green yeah. things. Oh, <laughs> this is whole. This is hard. Yeah, it's just they throw. So I'm like, do you all right? Do you want to be a platformer, or do I have to kill people? Because like, it's not that good of a platformer. And also, my character is not really equipped to kill all these people with guns. I'm a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> Ah! Oh, I tried to jump. It's very delayed. Is it? Yeah. No, I mean, like, I don't think it's the system or anything. I think it's the, like, the game oh, is okay. just delayed. Like, that's the way it is. Like, it takes a long time for the dinosaur to, like, fucking jump at, is, like, that. Is there lag? Maybe my controller has lag. No, 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 I'm saying it's not the system. I think oh, the game okay. is just that way. <laughs> yeah, I can see. Always... You get through this. Ugh, I'll try. You gotta do it. We're streaming here in front of... 
How many people are watching us? Five? <laughs> I'm just trying to like avoid, I'm not even gonna try to like really kill people. I'm just gonna try and Let's run see. away. Let's see if anybody's watching us. We got five people. We got 308 people are watching you beat this. 308 people. I'm not gonna beat, don't tell people I'm beating this. I'm not gonna are beat Are waiting for you to beat this level. Even if I skip to the very last level, I still won't be able to beat it. Jurassic Park is one of those films where the original is a classic, but the sequels all suck. Dinosaur Dick says Space Viking Papaya Boat. I don't think they all suck, and I enjoy them, but they are pointless. They There was no need for a sequel. If they said everything they had to say in the first movie, and uh, at least the new one was kind of unique like it's set up for more interesting sequels but okay stock fault said a, a little while ago because i scrolled back in the chat yeah. just a few minutes ago that he said i'm going to be very disappointed if you don't beat this tony uh, this uh, is before i said i'll that. skip to the very last level <laughs> <laughs> uh. new wave junkie said tony is beating this guaranteed all right so 350 <laughs> people just heard that oh great <laughs> This is great. Thanks. <laughs> Who in the chat would be really disappointed if Tony didn't beat this game to completion? Uh, Busted Wiener says Tony needs to 100% it for <laughs> old not, Busted for old Busted Wiener. <laughs> do, Tony, do it for old Busted Wiener. I can't 100%. But but poor, we, got, we got other games to play. But like, poor old Busted Wiener. <laughs> I'm sorry, Busted Wiener. You, you know what? Honestly, down. you seem like you have more problems than me not finishing <laughs> Jurassic Park whatever. That was almost a spit take. <laughs> if your name is old Busted Wiener, <laughs> the last thing you have to be worried about is if I'm going to 100% this stupid freaking game. <laughs> I will say the graphics are good in this, though. for like Especially for the time. Like, they look pretty good. Well, the, he's, well, then he says, well, okay, if you're not going to do it for him, then at least do it in honor of Fat Cock Jr. <laughs> Who the fuck is Fat Cock Jr.? Uh, what? <laughs> Who the fuck is Fat Cock Jr.? <laughs> Fat Cock Jr. Always is, is a person who would always be in my streams, oh. always comment a lot. And then we have we've we haven't heard from him in like a year, what, so what, we're all very worried about Fat Cock Junior. Is that a family name, Fat Cock Junior? Um, I don't. We don't know, but he's he's a good guy, and he doesn't come around anymore. And my chat has been talking a lot about Fat Cock Junior uh, lately. Poor Fat Cock. <laughs> Hope you're out there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, see if there's a level select. Anyway, if you did miss it earlier in the stream, uh, we told a little story about the blowjob pumpkin. So you can <laughs> make sure you watch this later to hear that story. And once again, this stream dedicated to Fat Cock Junior. Now what's going on in Jurassic Park? Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say maybe we'll skip to the very last. See if there's a level select. Oh, unless you lost your place. I like make, to, making Tony as uncomfortable as possible. <laughs> Tony's really, like, what you're happened? one of the few people who can do it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I have a big bullshit tolerance. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, did you need to look something Yeah, see up? if there's a level select. Okay. And I want to see what the last level is. And I, I, I guarantee you it's uh, the Sarah level. It sucks. Oh, I'm hit it out of this. <laughs> Good. We lose our place. Yeah, great. I'll find it. Don't just give me 10 minutes. You should, well, you got to beat this You're level going anyway. Way. You're on D. It's alphabetical. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Level select. All right, there we go. Guys, we're gonna do a level select. This must be done three times. I got the password screen. All right, let me go to the password screen. You should slap the Fucko Land logo on, on that Blockbuster logo and say it's yours. Uh, this game sucks so hard, the dinosaurs are praying for extinction. <laughs> Okay, what's the code, Mike? The code is yes. Square, X, circle, triangle, triangle, X, square, circle, triangle, circle, X. Oh, okay, square. It's got to be done three times, apparently. 
Are you fucking serious? Yeah, it says enter it three times. <laughs> so give me that again. Square, X, circle, triangle, triangle, X, square, circle, triangle, circle, X, square. Mike, can you get... Oh! Oh, never mind. Two times. Oh, thank God. Wait, what? <laughs> well, this says three times. Well, I'm sending this back to Blockbuster. <laughs> okay. So we're going right to the end? We're going right to the end. This is the Sarah level that Julianne Moore... This one you're going to have to beat so we can see the end of the game. Oh, oh fuck. I need to... What are the human controls? I don't even <laughs> know what the human controls are. Uh, human. Human. R2, L2, cycle through, weapons, square, fire weapon, triangle, evade... Triangle, D button, roll forward, uh, jump, the pitin attach Patan? Patach. Attaches to overhanging structure within range, hold the ball to raise the You are filthy. Patach! Okay, it looks like I'm Sarah and I'm being, I'm on a boat with the T-Rex. Ah! Alright, I know she has, yeah, she has like a grapple hook. How do I... Oh, how do I climb up? Ah! Oh, no! Uh, shit! Ah. Ah! How do I... It seems what? like you don't have the human controls down very well. No! The D button. I thought I was doing that. Uh, oh God damn it! Started over again. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that pink thing? I don't even know. Why is it not lifting me up? God damn it! I think he's almost got a beat, guys. No, I don't. Not even remotely. This is my last life. Tony won't let us down. Why isn't she raising herself? It's supposed to... Oh my god, I can't get up on that platform. Because then he just... This eats... looks horrible. I don't even know what to do. Am I trying to kill this thing? I mean, I would think. I guess. He's just eating you and... You're dead. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. Mike, you want to play a different dinosaur game now? Well, I thought we were going to try to beat that. that we're not beating that this. That didn't look like you beat it. We're not beating this fucking game. So overall thoughts on the Lost World Jurassic Park Special Edition. Also, I have another question for you. Yeah. Is there just Lost World Jurassic Park, and what's the difference between that and Special Edition? I think they released this game first as something else, and I guess it wasn't... There's a story behind it, and I forgot what it was. Okay. But there are other Lost World games. There's some on, like, uh, Sega Genesis. This one was, like, on Dreamcast and stuff. Okay. Uh, maybe they re-released it with, like, more dinosaurs or more levels. I don't know. Oh, this one has more dinosaurs. Maybe. Uh, does it say what's the difference? Features. Oh, yeah. New T-Rex level. New mid-level checkpoints. New stronger and longer lives. So this is the better version. This is the better version. It's still not very great, but it is the better version. Okay. It's honestly not... You gotta play it a while and get used to the controls. But even when you get it down, you're good at it. It's still not super fun. It's nice to look at, but it's not really super fun to play. Mm. But, and, that, and that's coming from Mr. Jurassic Park over yeah, here. Yeah, Mr. Jurassic... No, that's uh, my good friend Clayton Fioretti. I'm oh. friends with the like biggest Jurassic Park YouTuber. He is oh. Mr. Jurassic Park. Oh, okay. So what? So where do you Mr. What? You're Mr. Hack the Movies. I'm Mr. Hack the Movies. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm Mr. Roadhouse. By the way, I've never said I don't think, but by the way, Tony has a YouTube channel. <laughs> it's called Hack the Movies and and a Twitch, which I'm on occasionally. So you know what I like on Hack the Movies? Can I can I talk about Hack the Movies for a second? Sure. Go to full screen, okay. please. <laughs> I'll talk about Hack the Movies just very briefly. Like. But to, so Tony, if you guys don't know, plays yeah. different characters. Yes. And then he he uh, gets a lot of people give Tony a hard time because they think he's real. Oh but my god. But he's actually playing characters. Oh you, my you god. See. 
and he'll put on, let's say, a mask of the Joker or something like that. And be Joker fan. And, seven and he'll be like, my favorite is uh, Jarrett Leto. No, right? no, no. Joker fan is H. Jarrett Leto. Okay. Yes. So then what do people give you a hard time about then? Uh, just anything. <laughs> Literally anything. <laughs> I'll, I'll t- so I'll do a character. I'll be in a voice. I'll be dressed up. Sometimes I say my name, the character's name, and it's not my name. It's a different name. Like right now, I have one character called Youth Minister Harold. He's a crazy like Christian dude, but it's, he's also maybe a cult leader, and he hates horror movies. And people have been like, "Hey, do you really mean everything you said in that video?" I'm like, "Oh, the video where I don't use my real name and then I play a guitar that's out of tune and sing songs." No, I didn't mean anything I said in that video. <laughs> Who is the Vectrix guy? Oh, Vectrix. Okay. I have the full video on my YouTube, but uh, my friend Justin Wang reached out to me because he was making a video about uh, dating videos, uh, and he wanted he asked a couple YouTubers to do their own dating videos. So I did a video as if I was a guy in the '80s, and I just came up off the top of my head that I created the Vectrex. But it's like it's clear that my guy is a little weird. But as a dating, yeah, yeah. yeah. One of those and like... I, I dropped a hint that he might have been friend with the BTK killer. <laughs> But it's like the most awkward thing in the world. So I, I think you're most most well known for Joker fan. Joker fan, yeah, that's that's the top, yeah. Joker yeah. fan who uh, he's very mad he didn't get picked for the new Joker movie. Right. So he just did a video where uh, he he green screens himself into the Joker trailer poorly. Now, now I know I know that uh, uh, you know you know Joker fan pretty well. Yeah. So What do you think Joker fan would think about the fact that he wasn't chosen? for Mortal Kombat 11, but that Uh, asshole Mike Matei was chosen (laughs) for the DLC in Mortal Kombat 11. Joker fan's very upset that he wasn't chosen for the DLC. I think Joker fan should have been chosen. I really think he should have, too. He he did a... uh, (laughs) Did you know about the self-defense course Joker fan and Mega Baffrin did? Uh, I don't think I did. That was a panel we did at a convention. Okay. And everyone there... Like, only, like, a few people knew who we were. Mm-hmm. Uh, everyone else there didn't understand that we were characters, mm-hmm. and it was a joke, mm-hmm. and they were just super uncomfortable <laughs> the whole panel. <laughs> and the panel went for an hour. Uh, the video made it onto uh, the cringe subreddit, mm-hmm. the front page, the cringe subreddit. Because, uh-huh. pa- again, we're... Me- I'm sorry, Joker fan and Mega Bat are, like, doing all these jokes and being funny. Uh-huh. But the people in the audience just weren't tuned into the fact that we were characters and they thought we were being serious. So we're doing all this funny stuff and fucking no one is laughing. <laughs> and you also do another character that I like. I don't think you like it, but I like it. It is Sonic fan. I did two videos as this guy called Jerry who's, like, a crazy Sonic fan. And I hate doing the character. It hurts my voice. Like, it's a character I made. I'm like, I don't even like this guy at <laughs> all. And people are like, why don't you do more of him? Like, because I fucking hate him. <laughs> so he did one where he's at a convention. And there's this guy who really likes Sonic the Hedgehog yeah. a lot. Yeah. And he, t- it's a, is it a Sonic the Hedgehog? What's the book? You have the book or something? Or, or did you print off things offline? Wait, oh, where, where, the, out, like, where are the lines from? Uh, oh, the, I went to a website with just... um. Sonic pickup lines. Sonic pickup lines. So he goes around asking. Real... I'm like, I'm trying to like ask girls like with these pickup lines, and of course I'm getting rejected left and right because they're so terrible. You, you know what the best Sonic pickup line yeah. was? I'm Sonic and I love you. Oh yeah, that was. Right? A, I didn't make that up. That was on the the website with Sonic pickup lines. One of them was just I'm Sonic and I love you. I'm like, what the fuck? That's not a pickup. That line. would work really well. 